So we finished the assessment. We decided that we want to do the migration. We want to move over our Oracle to Postgres. One way of doing it is to use stream. So uh, thank you, Yair. Welcome, everybody. My name is Alok, and I'm from Stream. Uh, I sort of feel like uh, the, the brain surgeon after the complexity has been 100, so I get into the picture and tell you how to do the, the heterogeneous uh, migration from Oracle to Postgres. That's my demo today. Um, what I'm going to do is... Um, let's click to the next one. Okay. Just want to make sure my clicker is working here. Just go to the next slide, Claudia. Sorry. All right, just a little bit before I get into the demo. Uh, so Stream is a next generation platform, and uh, we focus on three different solution categories. Um, the categories are cloud adoption, hybrid cloud data integration, and in-memory stream processing. Of course, the focus today is on cloud adoption, and I'm uh, delighted to announce a partnership uh, with Google on uh, cloud adoption, especially in the area of uh, database migration. So um, what I'm going to focus today is on the Oracle to Cloud SQL Postgres migration. And especially, as uh, Yair pointed out, that uh, downtime is a big problem, especially for mission-critical applications. So you might have a number of different applications from your CRM, billing, payment, score banking, et cetera. And these might not necessarily be able to uh, take any kind of an outage, but you still want to actually move on to your initiatives for you know, cloud modernization, or for um, continuous operations. You might also have data on other clouds, and you wanted to synchronize that with newer applications that you're deploying on the, on the Google Cloud. So those are all the benefits that you gain. Of course, the critical problem here is the, 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 the downtime part. So let's get into the demo, and I'm going to actually show you how Stream helps you do that. So. This, uh, I'm going to just uh, have Corin uh, help me with the demo. And uh, this is the landing page of the Stream product. Um, there are three parts here. There's the dashboard piece. There's the apps. Apps are the pipelines. So you'll hear me interchangeably use apps and data pipelines. And then there's also, uh, uh, you can actually preview your sources before you get started. So we're going to jump into the apps part of the, of the demo. Uh, what you see here are pre-built pipelines. And, um, remember, this is a zero downtime type of uh, scenario I'm talking about. This has two critical phases. There's phase one, which is instantiation. So that's where you make a one-time copy of all of the data, which could be gigabytes, perhaps terabytes, or it could be uh, lesser. Um, and then followed by a catch-up or synchronization phase, which we achieve through some very specialized readers that help you catch up the source and the target, and ultimately the two sides are going to be in sync. So let's step into the... the uh, initialization phase. Well, so this is a simple uh, pipeline that uh, shows a pipeline going from an on-premise Oracle database into a Cloud SQL Postgres database. The way this was built was using a flow designer by choosing a number of uh, out-of-the-box components where you configure your, your sources, for example, and your targets. And you can also transform the data along the way because it may be interesting because the data formats might be different, or you may want to realign some of the data as you're going through. Um, let's step into the configuration of just the, the Oracle database. So here's where you configure all of the different properties. Um, and it's pretty you know, uh, flexible in terms of uh, how you want to move the data. Um, on the cloud side, here's where you provide your service account, your connections into the Postgres SQL uh, database. In this case, we are going to be actually moving uh, two separate tables for the purposes of the demo. We're going to attempt to do a live migration of a million records uh, of the line items table, uh, as well as uh, uh, do some DML activity in phase two with the change data capture uh, for the orders table. So let's go ahead and deploy the application. And uh, this can, the stream can run in the cloud or on on-prem. Uh, it's up to you. It's pretty flexible. Um, and as we deploy it, uh, uh, you kind of see that there's actually um, a, there's a, this is a deliberate mismatch that we introduced. Uh, you heard uh, Yair talk about some of the assessment checks and so forth. So it's important uh, before you actually do the migration that the sources and the, t and the target schemas, et cetera, sort of add up. They're compatible. There's no exceptions, et cetera. So here it did detect that uh, there's one incompatible data type. So we'll go ahead and uh, just uh, skip this uh, specific one. We have a, according has actually fixed this in an, another 
flow. So we're going to jump into that initial load flow. So let's go ahead and deploy that. And um, once we deploy it, uh, it's ready to get started. Um, we want to check, uh, Corin, whether the tables are already empty. Uh, so in this case, uh, in the line item table, you can see that the count is zero. And now we're going to go ahead and run the application. That's the one that actually goes to the uh, to your critical database, which is Oracle on-prem. Starts. Go ahead and you can run that code and start the application. Um, we'll also uh, preview the data along the way. Uh, so once the uh, you can see now the data is beginning to flow in. In this case, uh, uh, we have a million records in the in the line items table. And that sort of keeps going, and you can also monitor uh, the application progress. Uh, you can see that so far uh, we have 400,000 input. Uh, uh, the output and input obviously are changing. So this is where a lot of the magic is happening. Uh, so things like batch optimization, things like parallelism, things like event guarantees, things like commit semantics, all of this stuff is taking place behind the scenes. So it will be transactionally consistent when you actually enable, uh, uh, complete the migration. So now I think we're done. Why don't we take a look at uh, the PostgreSQL database, make sure that, um, and there you go. So your million records table was just, just moved uh, pretty quickly. And so the performance is very impressive. Uh, with that, uh, what I want to do is, um, uh, remember, this could be gigabytes or terabytes of data. What we want to do is, during this time, um, all of the data that is actually changing in the database, so this, this is your actual activity, that uh, is, is being moved using a technique called change data capture. So Stream allows you to actually have a specialized reader. And in this case, let's step into that. Um, um, so here's where the reader properties are. Uh, in the interest of time, we can go a little faster. Um, same configuration for the, for the target, obviously. Um, and in this case now, uh, what we do is we take activity from the redo log of the Oracle database, and we are going to effectively replay that on the target side to catch them up, thereby avoiding any kind of a, an outage to the production database. So again, in this case, uh, we have a, a mismatch here. It's more of a precision mismatch. In this case, I'll ignore it because I already know that all my data values adhere to the target site schema. So go ahead and ignore that, and we want to actually go ahead and move the table here. Again, the preview option is selected, and let's go ahead and start it. Um, Corin's going to generate some DML activity using a separate um, uh, simulator. This is where you're going to see some um, inserts, updates, and deletes. And you can see that uh, he's running a number of DML operations uh, against the orders table. Um, and then. Uh, Stream, you can actually already see that now not only are we capturing the data, but also the metadata. So these are things from the Oracle database, like the transaction ID, the system commit number, all of the metadata, the table name, the operation type, insert, update, delete. You can filter on stuff like this. And then um, you can actually go finally log into the orders table and see that there's, in fact, uh, data uh, present in this table. This was empty beforehand. So this is sort of a combined technique of uh, instantiation followed by change data capture and application that allows you to, at your own leisure, move your on-prem database into the cloud database. You can actually go ahead and test both sides while the migration is ongoing. It may take you a day, a week, or potentially months, depending on the size of the database. But the key benefits are that there's no outage, and you can keep your operations continuous for your mission-critical applications.